Well, good evening. I am back. Actually, I logged in just to see if I could do a quick pull kite. And of course, since I'm over here, let's also check to see if Mori Roarark is up. I don't see him. No Mori Roarark. Okay. That's probably the placeholder form right there. But I also was finding even on the red server. Oh wait, there's two over here. Eh, egrets. Bunch of egrets and rooks. So we're gonna run over to Split Paw Lair. Now I've noticed on red server. Look at this. There's four people here. Why is that? Last time I was here. I ran into two other players. I don't like that. I guess I'll have to be careful. Thankfully I'm a bard and I can fly with speed. But I wanted to pull in peace. There's a very good possibility that people are here just trying to get the, the Pegasus cloak that you get from Quillmane, that's possible. There's a couple of quests in the sun, and then there's a, some okay places to hunt, so maybe they're here for that reason. Let's hope so. So I'm going to run to the spot. Well, I am now at the spot. Yeah, I didn't take very long to get here, but I'm noticing that there's no knolls on this outside area. That must mean someone else is out here. And there's someone out here. They're con red to me, so what could they possibly be doing? Well, it looks like I'm going to log out because I don't want to kite things that other people are camping. Um, but I was hoping to gain a level here. And if you watched the last video, whoa, look at that thing. Big old giant skeleton. Undead cyclops. Wow. Doesn't that look creepy? Cool. So what is this creature good for? It's funny how he makes the sound of like a tiptoeing creature, not a giant like boom, 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 boom. So let's check it out. Undead Cyclops. So that Undead Cyclops is part of a quest to get Armor of Row. I believe it's a helmet. The Armor of Row. Okay. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't want to like pull these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out here. And maybe I'll continue making this video whenever the zone is emptied so I can pull these knolls because this is a good spot. Wow, I see only one player here now. Only one player here. Um, I targeted the guy and I considered him. His name was Drainosaurus. Okay. So actually he's not here anymore. Let's do this. Drainosaurus is left. So I'm going to start gathering up some knolls. We'll take our time with it too. So that guy is really tough. All right, we have him pulled. Make sure Silos is on and then the rest of the pulls will be, I'll just grab them and um, you know, I'll just track them over each other. So let's see if we can do that. See, we'll just make sure he goes and Get these two. That'll be three. All right. There's three of them. <clears throat> now this one's going up top. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just ate some yogurt. I wish I. I should really stop eating when I make videos. 
Come on, guy. Quit moving in the center. We'll come back for him. Okay, there's four. And we'll get this one. We'll be number five. And these, these con blue, white, and yellow. So the ability to level here is gonna be for a good while. Massive amount of XP too. I assume I grabbed that one. We'll find out in one second. We'll gather these two. And I lost track of how many I've already got. Okay, we now need to make a sharp turn to get this one. Let's see if they got them. Yes. Oops, I'm getting dizzy. All right, maybe need one more. A couple more, maybe. We'll go right over the top. I'm trying to like see where they could possibly be. Ah, uh, well, you know what? Let's just do this. This is gonna be. This is gonna level me. Oh, what is that over there? I swear I saw someone there. It is, there's a player over there. There's a player named, I think it was a dark elf. I saw them named Micah. A 58 level player. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag these around. I'm actually just trying to get away from everybody else. I'm gonna do this in peace. So there's our posse of gnolls. All right, where do we wanna do this? I think I'm gonna do it over here in this hill. There shouldn't be anybody over here. This area right here looks like a really nice spot to do it in. All right, so let's, um, when they get close, I'll gather them up a little bit better. I'll round them into a tight circle. All right, looks like they're getting pretty close. It seems like no matter where I go on the map, random mobs will seem to find me. Like, like I, if I was trying to kite right here. Um, let's do it over here then. There's not many trees here, so we can do it. But there's a... I mean, there's not a big density of stuff, but it's like annoying. I'm going to sneeze. Okay. Well, I'm waiting for a good clear spot. Here we go. Let's put on our horn now. Ooh, that's loud. And we're going to start our song, our dot song. Here it goes. Dot song. All right, let's check it out. I've got one targeted in the group. Okay, and you can start here and I'm getting close. Pattering of their feet. Oh, look at that. Okay, we got, we're starting to get some damage on them. All right, we got an elephant coming around here. I'm gonna have to go around them. It always takes longer than it's than necessary because I have uh, things get in my way. Okay, darn elephant. Now I'm gonna start going this way because I wanna start getting closer. Okay, no closer than that. No closer than that. For some reason, the one I got targeted only has taken 2% damage. He must be in one of the ones that have been resisting all of my attempts. High level null that has a lot of resist. Here we go. 
So we're doing a lot of damage now. Got him down to 92%. 91. There we go. Perfect. So I find these to be really easy. Their hitbox looks really predictable. Their run speed's really nice. They don't cast any spells, no tricks up their sleeves, and man is the loot good. It's so good that I have to stop and take a break after each pull and run to a vendor. Otherwise I'd be losing out on a lot of money. Alright, I got them down to 80%. You can't get too uh, impatient and try to finish them off quicker. I find it's worth your while to find a really nice spot to do it into. Sometimes you have to drag them around the map and look for a good <coughs> place where the ground is flat, preferably with less trees and less mob traffic. Because now I got this elephant coming in the way. That's not a big deal. Try to avoid the elephant though. Got it down to 67%. And so I'm 63% of the way through this level. This might be enough to level me. I don't know for sure. Got a, I, a tight circle a bit there. Okay, good. 62% for the one that I have targeted. So today was my first day as an intern on shift. I worked a shift on the adult ER. I was the only family res family medicine intern on service. There was another resident who worked with me and they were a emergency medicine intern. It was their first year. So I have to go around this elephant, really annoying. So it's taking a lot of time because I have to get around him. Okay. Um, so it was a 10-hour shift. It wasn't that bad. My first day, 10 hours. All right, we're getting closer now. And tomorrow I do another 10-hour shift in the adult ER. And then after that, okay, we're getting close. There we go. And after that, I have to do another shift, but in the morning I have outpatient clinic. And I'm starting to realize that outpatient clinic is, a, is harder encounters. You're, you're managing people with a lot more problems. And so you have to do a little bit more work pre-charting your, your patients. You know, our darn thing. Shoot, I'm getting kind of... I want to change my circle. There we go. It's always dangerous when you're changing the direction of your circle. Ah, I'm trying to get away from everything, but there's another guy coming. Oh, he turned. Good. Now I've got these trees in the way. And so, um, tomorrow will be easy 10 hour shift again. And then on Tuesday, I have to work 14 hours. So I have to do a four hour shift. In the, in the outpatient clinic and then I'll do a, t a nine hour shift in the adult ER so I added up how many hours I'm working it's only 59 hours a week you have to count though that a lot of your chart writing that you're gonna be doing is gonna be done in your off time so if you don't get your charts done and that's like you write your notes up for the patient note writing. You have to write that off, write those up in your free time. You know, you go home and do it. And that's probably what's going to happen initially until I learn how to write notes, learn the note writing software much better. Oh, I just one died. So I started out with 63. Now, okay, let's just not focus on the experience. Let's just focus on killing these buggers. 
So someone died and this one's still got 25% of his life. He must be the one that's resisting everything. <clears throat> yeah, because three have died already. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. Nice, got him wincing. So um, even though I worked 10 hours a day, I got my notes done before I left work. So I come home, I ate poorly. I ate some Cece's pizza. My sister sent me a picture of a pizza that she ordered. So I ordered the pizza before I left work. And then by the time I got home, I had to race the pizza delivery person to my apartment. And then um, ate pizza, which I'm not proud of. And then I took a nap for about two hours. I slept so long that I, I missed my uh, garbage valet service. So now I got garbage sitting in my apartment for another day. Well, darn it, I'm, am I gonna level up here? I really wanted to level bad. I wanted to level real bad. All right. Look at that little elephant. So cute. I gotta take this wide here. So I wanna target the elephant accidentally. Oh, hush. Whoa. Oh. It's okay, they're dead anyways. Dang, they hurt. Ouch, 65% of my life. Ding! So I started out at 63%. Let's see. Oh, I need to like... Let's do the worst song. And... Uh, where's my weapons? Darn it. Happened to be the last bag I looked into. Alright. Yeah. And we'll do the Celos Consonant Chain. It's gonna basically snare him. Hey, you didn't need to. So I gained level 29 now, finally. Let's grab up our loot. Put on silos. We don't want any of the corpses decaying, which they probably will if I don't hurry. Uh, where are we at? God, this is some good money here. I'm like filthy rich. A null hide lariat. I'm just like raking those in now. Sweet. Platinum and a fine steel sword. Sword. Some rainwater. Nothing like some refreshing rainwater. Go away, elephant. Wow, they're like they're giving like two and a half platinum and gold each. And sometimes on top of that, they'll drop find still morning stars, find still weapons. Okay, guys, it's a super short episode because I'm working a lot this week. It's about 60 hours, not a crazy work schedule, but it's really eating up into my EverQuest time. Sad, sad to say, you know. Uh, first day as an intern today, and I've still managed to come home and play some EverQuest. So how about that? 20 minute video. I dinged, I went from 63% experience to 6% in this new level. So, that's not bad at all. Let me put on my loot and start working up my stringed instrument skill and restoration. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was super short. It's kiting. Uh, so, same old, same old, but flying through levels. And now that I'm level 29, I can go back and probably work on those Aviac Ava sets um, definitely in one more level I'll be able to fight them without too many problems and we'll be able to get our upgraded item those Electrum bracelets those are really good I'll get, I'll get two of them so thanks for watching guys see you guys soon have a great week bye <laughs>